So we are headed to the gym right now. Um, going to a different gym. Now, school has actually two gyms. Um, it has like the regular campus one, then it has the like MCV campus, which is their medical campus. Uh, since it is Monday and it is chest day, um, I am lifting solo, I think, unless my brother's here. Um, there's not going to be as many people at this gym. I've never actually been to it, so I'm pretty excited. And it's chest, so I don't have a spotter or anything, so I might use a power rack for the first time. So we'll see how it goes. Um, walk in there now. So I will film when I'm in there. I, I'm, I was going to use my nice camera to film this little walking segment, but it's a little ghetto in downtown Richmond, so probably not going to do that. So, 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 so. See you soon, guys. All right, guys. So Max here again with another video, just pumping out the videos for you guys, because you know what? I get such great feedback from every single one of you. I love reading all the comments and everything. I get every comment to my phone, so I see everything. If I don't respond to it, um, you know, because they're, they're comments. I like to read them. If they're questions, I'll answer them, kind of stuff like that. But I love hearing your feedback, so definitely keep on doing that. That's going to keep me motivated to, you know, pump out some videos. So today, again, I went to a different gym, um, same school, just different gym, and I did some bench press. Now, as you guys know, I am on the two... Uh, 230 pounds right now for five sets of five on the flat bench. A couple things you'll notice in this video is, you know, I'm using a power rack. Luckily, my brother was there to unrack uh, four of the five sets. You'll notice that I use my Addy powers today as well as my belt because I'm going to use those in competition. So I wanted to get a feel um, of the Addy powers, you know, being able to have my feet three quarters of an inch off the ground will help me keep it planted more and just to have the belt because, you know, I've never done bench with a belt and I wanted to see what it felt like because everyone's doing it on YouTube. And again, if everyone else is doing it, Max has to do it, guys. So, you know, I wanted to get in the topic of this video is going to be training alone, riding solo, as uh, Jason Derulo would put it. And, you know, the, the, the benefits, the drawbacks, I have done a video before on, you know, do you need a lifting partner? And I agree that a lifting partner is fantastic, but sometimes there are circumstances where you're going to lift alone. I hope you guys like this, you know, crotch shot that I'm giving you guys. Um, by the way, this 230 is going pretty well for me. I might increase to 235 next time. Um, this is the second time doing 230 pounds, and I've successfully gotten all the reps, so I might increase it. Maybe one more session with the 230 just to get more comfortable with it. Um, you know, training solo, it, it's, it's a different vibe, guys. It is a different, um, you know, zen. You know, you don't have your main bro there to, you know, slap you on the back to get you pumped up. It's just you in there. Um, I find that my workouts are sometimes quicker when I'm just by myself, but just because, you know, the workout's quicker doesn't mean that it's, you know, a better workout. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, I'm getting, you know, optimal rest time in between my reps. It just means that, you know, my, I guess I don't dick around as much during my lifts, so I can kind of, you know, get my lifts in and out. But, you know, sometimes I, I like going in there and I like just being me and I like just listening to my music, not talking to anyone and just, you know, going for it. But, you know, on these bench days, you're going to want that training partner. I mean, you're going to want that person to help you unload the rack because have, as you saw my first attempt um, doing the 230 where I unloaded the bar by myself uh, was not that fun. I mean, it takes a lot of energy to lift the, the bar off the rack um, and then get situated. It's nice just to have someone lift it off and not worry about it. Um, you know, these, these, I'm really satisfied with my bench press right now, guys. I know a lot of YouTubers who are just my size are pumping out, you know, better numbers than me on the pressing, but I'm really, really satisfied with my strength and really impressing myself. And that's what it's about, guys, is impressing myself. But unfortunately, I have, you know, a thousands of you guys to impress as well. So hopefully you guys are impressed as well, because again, I'm not happy unless all of you are happy. So, I mean, what's your guys' opinion? Do you train alone? Do you like training alone? Would you prefer to train with a partner if you don't have a, a person? Um, or, you know, do, do you feel that training with a partner just kind of sets you back? Or does it, does it, you know, I think that the biggest thing about lifting partners is you want someone that's going to have the same mindset, same goals as you. You know, you don't want a big fat fatty, you know, coming in the gym with you if your goal is to be lean, you know, because they're going to have different, you know, motivation levels. They're going to have different you know, lifts, that's a big thing as well, is you want someone that's very equal in your strength, so you know, you're not changing the weights in and out, and it's very motivating to have someone similar strength to you, because then you kind of get, um, you know, a little competitive with your lifts, I mean, you get a little, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you did this number, you did this number, let's see who can beat who, you know, even though it's, it's not only about beating each other, but you know, you get the idea, you know, so, 
uh, basically what I did with this workout was five by five of the uh, 230 pounds. Then I did a bunch of accessory exercises. Here you see me doing inclined flies with 30s because the 35s and the 40s were taken. So I just did like three sets of 15 on this. Um, but that's going to be the main topic of this video, guys. What do you think is the optimal training method? Lifting by yourself, lifting with a partner, um, or, you know, change it up every now and then. Sometimes with a partner, sometimes lift by yourself. This session went really, really well. Um, you know, normally I lift with Nick Nightingale, but uh, tonight we do work together, and he, I think, had to go to some thing after work that I got backwards on, so I didn't end up going. But session went really good. My strength is going up. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, finish up with, uh, you know, tricep extensions. The underhand tricep extensions. I really like this. The press, the underhanded press downs. Then I went into a little alternating triceps, guys. Um, my bulk is going pretty well. I'm, I'm on a very, very small caloric surplus. I'm almost to 170. So I'm getting a little bigger for you guys. So leave your comments down below. Do you train by yourself? Do you train with a partner? Which one do you prefer? Leave your comments. I love every single one of you, and I will see you guys later.